Hello, and welcome to the Vale of the Old Farm. Now, today is going to be a very, very busy day. Um, we went and kept this swather around because I knew that the grass in the uh, cattle pen would be ready today. So, eh, <laughs> I, I figured, you know, what, keep it around. We'll be able to get our mowing done a little bit quicker. Everything will already be windrowed. That'll save us a step. And yeah, because we're going to need all the time saving efforts that we can today because we need to mow, bale, and harvest our soybeans and our corn because yeah, everything's ready to go and we need to get it done as soon as possible because I don't want it to uh, wither away. Also, if you guys were paying attention in the last video, um, I bought a couple pallets of clothing on the uh, used vehicle market. Don't ask me how they were on the used vehicle market. I don't know. Somehow somebody thought they were used vehicles or whatever, but we should be able to sell them for a really, really good profit. So I bought eight of them. We're going to keep our hands on them and wait till the high point to sell them. And once uh, that high point gets here, we're going to go sell them off and try and make way more money than it costs because remind you guys it only costs us hundred eight thousand dollars to buy them and we can potentially sell them for 250 so i would say it's a win-win and it'd be smarter to hold on to them for right now we'll go a little bit farther in debt picking up a corn header but it'll be fine so if you guys like today's video hit that thumbs up if you're new around here stick around you might like what you see and if you do like what you see, consider subscribing. With that, guys, we need to get to work. Now, I know what you guys are gonna say. Okay, so just hear me out. I think we're gonna keep this swather, okay? I know we're renting it right now, um, but I am more than willing to pay the rental fee for it. And also, I am more than willing to pay the hour, like the charge for every hour of operation that we put on it until we can afford to buy it. Because this swather is saving us so much time by being able to windrow and mow at the exact same time. I think that this will save us money in the long run and make it to where we can get every mowing in every bailing contract that we do done 10 times faster um we may end up keeping the uh, square baler as well and selling our baler i just i haven't made up my mind on that one yet um because we'll still have to drive around and wrap the bales but who knows it, it it's kind of a catch-22 but we're almost done um and you guys are probably wondering how i uh got this header in here through those tiny gates i'll show you here in a second when we're done um it's 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 not the uh safest or the nicest on the equipment but it gets the job done and right now i i just want that i know the eggs aren't accepted there okay it's not my fault shush that's that's just where the eggs are laid but um you know what I'm, I'm just all about getting it done right now so i really don't care now i told you guys that this isn't the uh safest nor the uh nicest way to do this but it it, it gets the job done you know i just uh, take off the bucket and i just start pushing it's not nice to the equipment tractor kind of struggles with it with them tires but you know what a little bit of a bald spot ain't, ain't gonna hurt things and plus we're on dirt guys i don't think it's gonna rub off too much of the tires so i went i checked the moisture on the uh soybeans they're still a little damp from the morning dew so we're gonna go get all this grass bailed up um if you guys look up at the top right hand corner um we're a little down on cash and that is because well i went and i sold the mower and the wind drawer and bought a corn header 
Um, I'll show you guys that here in a little bit, but for right now, I'm going to go struggle up these hills and get all of this grass baled and then we'll probably wait to wrap them until probably tonight after we're done um harvesting just because i mean it it's wrapping it doesn't take much and you can easily do it by the light so not much to worry about so we're done bailing we just got the uh john deere filled up with fuel we're gonna run over here we're gonna start harvesting our soybeans and once we get over here, I'll show you guys the uh, new corn header. I went with a case this time. You know, I didn't go with anything off brand, but it's a nice little eight rope header. I uh, think I think it should be able to handle that uh, terrain over there in that field pretty well. Because, I mean, you guys have seen it. It's it's not the greatest, but I right now am hoping that this soybean field yields way better than it did last time because, well, <laughs> I want money. And soybeans are a wonderful source of income. But we're going to go. This John Deere turned off. Jump in the case and get to work. Oh, these hills are going to be the death of me. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> I... <sighs> I don't want to have to upgrade our, another, our combine again, but we may end up having to. I don't want to go with a smaller header either. Bigger header means, you know, less time on the field. Uh, you know, we got a year to, uh, you know, figure out how we're going to get that done. But uh, right now we're just going to focus on getting our debt paid off and if we're able to afford it later on we'll definitely upgrade the combine but uh we need to upgrade all of our equipment all around because we need a little bit more horsepower to get up some of these hills i am pretty sure by looking at the map we're yielding better than what we did last time you know there's still some spots where it's not as great but there's a lot more really dark green and I'll be honest I'm okay with having a lot more of that dark green because that means more more crop okay and having more crop is always a good thing you can never have too much crop but oh yeah give me that dark green right there mmm got that wonderful yield going on oh it's so nice it is so nice Oh, hey, I should probably pay attention to my fill level. Yeah, that's 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 filling up quicker than I thought it would. Without even going and checking in the books, I know for a fact that this is definitely a record setting harvest. OK, this is what we needed and I am all for it. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, I can't wait to see how the corn turns out. Oh, that corn should that corn should in theory do really well so yeah i'm i'm happy about this so far so we're done with our soybeans we ended up with another almost six thousand liters um so we got a couple thousand more than what we did last time um we ended up having a uh how do i say this a little breakdown yeah the upper atmosphere breakdown and uh, kind of had to fix things, but we are back and it is 2.40 in the afternoon. And well, uh, we need to get this field done because it, it, I don't want to be harvesting in November. Hopefully we still have enough cash to get us through till I think everything is really ready to go in January. But yeah, I don't know. I hope so, but you, you never know. So we're going to go worry about uh, January when January comes. And I'm going to go ooh, back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh, I hate short trailers. They turn so sharp. 
Why must you turn so sharp? There we go. Get this unfolded. Let's get this header on here and get to harvesting some corn. I'm finding that this little header, however, even though the fact that it is small, it's only a eight row, it is uh, quite easy to line up and uh, not miss anything with. And I greatly appreciate that because, well, we all know, oh, there, I, as I say that, I miss two. Uh, this is, uh, this is, this is why I just need to shut up half the time. I don't know about you guys, but, uh, there's something oddly terrifying at driving on the side of this hill. Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure combines are not supposed to be running at that angle. Ha! <laughs> uh... I'm going to roll this thing on this hill. I'm going to roll this thing on the hill. And I am missing crop again. I, I, yep. No, it's, it's just time to be quiet. So we are done with the uh, corn harvest. As you guys can see, we got 14,952 liters. And I am, I'm, I'm very, uh, how, how do I want to say this? Um, happy with it. Okay, I did not expect to get almost 15,000 liters of corn. So that is a bonus. I will gladly take it. I don't know if we're going to need corn for the for the pigs. We may end up saving it. I don't know. Um, but I do need to get to wrapping these bales. So we're going to call it there for now, guys. If you guys like today's video, hit that thumbs up. If you're around still and you know for some odd reason you know you you may want to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i mean if you haven't already but definitely if you're new around here and you're still watching you should subscribe because you're gonna like what you see okay but let's get this corn overloaded and we're gonna call it a day so i will see you all oh Later.